Hello, Genuine Wizard. Thanks for dropping a line on my video um, criti criticizing another uh, claimed telekinetic, and thanks for stating that you don't claim uh, telekinetic powers yourself and leave it up to the viewer. Um, yeah, as a skeptic, I'm a little... Um, I must admit, your performance is closer um, than quite a few others, but uh, just a little thought. Um, I guess I guess I would just have to see it a lot a live demonstration before I'm convinced. The major reason being that um, for the first bit when your music was playing, um, when the pen looked like it was rolling around, it almost looked in some bits like stop motion animation. Um, but you know, like I said, at, at least that's what it looked like at first. Um, don't know, but you know, uh, that's the only reason I could figure um, for that. You know, something along those lines, um, and then just overlapping the sound of various different. Uh, uh, rolling zone or what have you. Um, another possibility is static. Oh, and the other one. Um, we didn't see your middle finger, and uh, the thing is that um, it's also known sometimes that there is a metal bit uh, in some of these pens, uh, closer to, you know, like the tip or what have you, closer. And the thing is, I've done met telekinesis tricks, which if I had my PK ring handy, I would be able to show you, but I've done tricks before where I've been able to um, rotate pens constantly um, with, uh, you know, with, uh, with a magnetic ring that I would wear on this finger. And um, you know, saying there's no magnets under the table or what have you, and you know, it would it would it was a live demonstration, and some people even started to believe that I had genuine telekinetic capability using this trick. Um, I literally had to explain to them that it wasn't telekinesis uh, in order to get the, a couple of the new agers off my backs. So, uh, yeah, uh, like I said, um, I am a little concerned about this video. Um, you know, like I said. Controlling for strings, magnets, and the like was very, very effective in this, but um, I'd like to see a live demonstration, or preferably um, no super, uh, just an idea, don't superimpose music over your clip um, and make it shown that it is one continuous live demonstration that way, um, just to make sure that uh, I'm not mistaking it for something like film splicing or stop motion animation. Um, yeah, other than that, um, I think that pretty much covers it. Not bad. Um... I'm not convinced it's telekinesis yet, but I will say um, not bad at performance. So yeah, do, um, like I said, just amend those couple of bits. And um, yeah, if, uh, if you can also get preferably, um, you know, if you can get more than two people filming it, um, you know, preferably in each of them posting up on a different site or what have you, um, each to verify that, you know, they're all independent people, um, I would appreciate that because that would mean that that would also reduce, uh, reduce the risk of digital editing. Um, for this particular process. So yeah, like I said, more cameras, each from a different angle, uh, filming it, um, remove the music from your demos, and yeah, I think that would pretty much, con uh, that would be pretty much conclusive for me. Uh, you know, just, and make sure that each person who's doing it uh, shows themselves on cam in advance to verify that they actually are someone independent and that it's not just you uh, putting up different shots uh, on three or four different accounts on YouTube. Um, I'm not moving the goalposts here. I'm just simply saying that uh, in your case, um, you have gotten all the basics for me. But um, you know, just uh, considering the fact that uh, considering the fact that in your case there is no, um, there's no, we don't see your hands in advance, and we also, um, and we, uh, and it also looks a little bit like stop motion animation. I just like to have uh, at least one other independent source of film just to verify that it isn't stop motion animation. Um, you know, that's my only concern in your case. Uh, other than that. You know, I'm more. I'm pretty sure you'd be more than willing to amend that uh, for another video. So by all means, do that. And um, when I look at the second video, I probably will no doubt be convinced of telekinesis existence. Like I said, you had me close. You had me close. But um, you know, but I suspect, like I said, stop motion or there's a couple of other ideas I'm boiling in the back of my mind as to how it could be done. But uh, they're not fully formed yet. So I'll probably have an answer for you as to other possibilities within another day or so. Oh. Uh, there is one other possibility, and this is, uh, again, unlikely, but it is one which I've seen Mindfreak, uh, my other compatriot, do. Um, there are some pens which uh, actually have a little bit of liquid in them, uh, which will actually move to one side or the other. And the thing is that uh, there are ways to uh, there are ways to rig a pen and to you know to do something similar to that. So anyway, um, you know, weighted pens and the like. But anyway, um, that's neither here nor there. Um, yeah. Uh, like I said, I've got a couple of other... Actually, that one wasn't really the idea for this one, but uh, like I said, I've got a couple of ideas rolling in the back of my mind as to how this could be done, and I'll have uh, some ideas up for you within probably another day or two.
once I've got them fully formed and experimented with them myself. Okay, see you around.